Adding links to the sheet index. A sheet index is a centralized and structured collection of sheets in your project. You may link any sheet model from any design file of your project into a sheet index. Now that you have built the drawing sheet index folder structure, you will now add the project sheets to their respective folders. In this section, you will learn to link sheet models from design files of the project into their respective folders within the sheet index. Continuing from the cover sheet DGN file, ensure that the sheet index is not read-only and can be edited. With the general folder selected, click the Add Sheet icon from the icon bank of the Explorer's Sheet Index tab. From the DGN Roadway folder of the SR20 project, select the cover sheet DGN file and then click Open. The Add Sheets dialog opens. From here, expand to view the available sheet models. Select the cover sheet and then click OK. If you were to take a look at the title block, specifically the right corner, you will notice that the text fields have updated here. They now reflect the sheet number, sheet sequence, and the custom property that you created for the project ID. Back in the Explorer dialog, with the general folder still highlighted, click the Add Sheet icon. From the DGN Roadway folder of the SR20 project, select the General Notes DGN file and then click Open. Upon doing so, you are presented with an alert that the selected file does not belong to the active work set, hence not allowing you to add the sheet to the index. Close the information dialog and then open the General Notes DGN file. As part of the process of opening the General Notes DGN file, you are presented with another alert. This time, you are informed that this file is not part of the work set and then offers you two options. From the No Work Set Alert dialog, select Use Active Workspace Bentley Connect Training Work Set SR20 and then click Open. The General Notes Sheets opens. The design file has now been branded with the SR20 work set. If an attempt is made to open this file with a different work set, the operator will be prompted accordingly. In the past, DGN files had no idea what workspace they were associated with. This could allow a DGN to unknowingly be opened in the wrong working environment and cause the wrong standards to be applied. The MicroStation Connect Edition allows a DGN file to be branded to a work set, with the work set being linked to its workspace. Since you opened a different DGN file, the sheet index has defaulted back to read only. Back in the Explorer dialog, click the Open Sheet Index for Edit icon. Next, with the General folder selected, click the Add Sheet icon. From the DGN, Roadway folder of the SR20 project, select the General Notes DGN file and then click Open. Since the General Notes DGN file was branded to the SR20 work set, you are taken to the Add Sheet dialog. From here, select the General Notes sheet model and then click OK. The General Notes sheet model link with its naming rules applied is added to the index. Back in the Explorer dialog, double click the cover sheet to reopen it. Since the General Notes sheet was added to the index, 
the title block information has updated to reflect the total number of sheets. Using this table as reference, continue adding sheets to the sheet index. Be sure to have the index open for editing and that you have the respective folders highlighted when selecting the DGN files. Another thing to be aware of, some DGNs will have multiple models within it. In such a case, select all the models from the Add Sheets dialog. You may now pause this video to add sheets to the sheet index. Again, using this table as reference. When finished, take note of the numbers within the sheet index. The number next to the project root folder indicates the total number of sheets for the set. Beside each folder name, the number shown represents the total number of sheets within that respective folder. And within each folder, there are two numbers in brackets next to each sheet. The first number represents the sheet sequence within that folder and the second number indicates the overall sequence relative to the sheet set. In this section, you learn to link sheet models from design files of the project into their respective folders within the sheet index. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.